Hey guys, and welcome to the last day of the week of Underrail. I've been having a, a lot of good time with this game. Um, a bit, a bit weird about this mission that we're on, but we're going to go and try to speak to... I think it was Tanner, I think the guy was called, and see if we've actually done the mission, because I've had a look in the wiki and we've done basically what the wiki wants us, what the wiki says that we need to do, so... I'm guessing it's done. Hey, Tanner. I've reactivated the power generator in all the stations I could find. Good work, Obi-Wan Kenobi. We can now start the restoration pro process. Have your credits. Excellent. So what's next? There's a few more jobs waiting for you, actually. Brett needs someone to do a hopper roundup. He'll instruct you on what exactly you need to do and how to do it. Go speak to him. He's on the agronomy level. After you complete that task, come see me again. Alright. Brett. What's this? That's my experience. Derp. I'm just gonna leave your door open. What's that noise? Uh, agronomy. I've not been down here. D -d 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 down here. I've not been d -d down here. Uh, what level is my my size stuff? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So we're three away from being able to uh, to get a new hoochman. What's it off that bloke? Hello. Hey, Quentin. You come up to a. a Rangy, rangy man with long, what a mangy, with long hair cutting a part of the creature, a part of the creature's head. A moment later, red blood mixed with some greenish fluid drops out of the cut, and the man extracts a long spine. As he puts it aside, he notices you. Careful, you don't want to get in contact with this toxin. He turns cutting through the creature as he talks to you. My name is Quentin. Don't bother introducing yourself. I know who you are. You're Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, and I'm your only hope. <laughs> you just got admitted to the station. Uh, I shake your hand, but as you can see, that wouldn't be a good idea. Fucking creatures that? It's a burrower. One of the nasty creatures that digs around laying eggs all over the place. The more numerous deeper underground, but you can still find a few roaming the lower under rail in the surrounding caves. If you meet one, be careful. It will spit thick hard spines at you that are coated with poison. So what are you doing? Collecting the poison glands. We can use them to produce other chemicals or to coat crossbow bolts. What's in that room over there? We grow mushrooms of different kinds. Of course, most notice noticeably the mine shrooms. They're one of the most potent, and certainly one of them, the safest psionic catalysts. The largely popular cybusters are made from mind shrooms, in case you didn't know. Uh, I told you you can teach psionics. Yeah, that's correct. Are you interested in learning? Yeah, what can you teach me? Huh. I heard you scored highly in Tyler's test, so I'll teach you what I can. If you perform one little task for me. Tasks that. You see, I was conducting some experiments on rat hounds a while back. It was quite close to a breakthrough as well until a little accident happened and Brett forced me to get rid of the creatures. Huh. Can't finish the experiments. Not here anyway. Uh, well, what were you conducting? I was working on developing a substance that was transforming the muscle of and other types of tissue into a potent fertilizer for mind shrooms. What happened? Well, I never really had an appropriate place to keep the rat hounds. So I drilled breathing holes into a couple of those large crates and kept them there. It turns out I underestimated them and after a while chewed their way out of their predicament. Uh, well, what do you need me to do? I prepared the final version of a concoction and filled a set of crossbow bolts with it. I need you to go out there into the caves and shoot a rat hound with it, and then once it's dead, collect a tissue sample from around the wound. If you don't have a crossbow, you can borrow mine. It's in the locker over there in the corner. It's not like I get to use it much these days anyway. And if so, you'll teach me for free? I'll teach you one side ability for free. You'll have to pay for the rest. Ah, uh, make it two and you've got a chance. <laughs> not a chance. One side ability. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Excellent. Here's the bolts. Good hunting. Uh, where's the locker? There it is. Oh, it's a Zephyr. I think that's the, the same one that I've got. Zephyr crossbow, Zephyr, yes. Uh, what's the, the putrefying bolt? Is that the one that I need to do? Yeah, that's right. Okay, just keep my my knife on me just now. I'll dual wield him. But I'm mad bamf. All right, that's a, a bit of a shame. I probably should have talked to him a bit earlier, but there you go. Oh, look at that! What's in the barrel? Stuff. A dirty rag and five millimeter cases. Domino, Lake Poppies, Logan. 
It's Wolverine. Hey, Logan. Welcome to Hydroponics. I'm gonna leave your doors on. Oh. We are switched on, we're just busted. Interesting. I wonder what I can do with that pillar box. Hey! What the fuck is this? A dog crate used to contain and transport small animals? Alright, we'll only work on small non hostile creatures. And some nets. Too bad. Oh man, if I do. Well, let's go and open this door. See what I can do with this pillbox. Oh, wow, lock picking a 55. Alright, then maybe not. Cave hoppers. Hey Brett. You must be Obi Wan Kenobi. They call me Big Brett. So you passed all the tests, I see. It couldn't have been easy. Those were just getting harder and harder in recent years. Uh Yeah, I think they were just the right difficulty. You wouldn't want just anyone in here, right? You're right, indeed we don't. So anyway, what can I do for you? I've been tasked with helping you with hopper roundup. Ah, very good. So, say, have you ever captured a hopper? Uh, n no. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Look over there on the pen. Those are cave hoppers. Hoppers for short. The speedy little bastards, let me tell you. Shooting one's hard, but catching it alive is even harder. They're usually found near lakes, because that's where the favourite food grows. The lake mushroom. Anyway, here's what we need to do to capture some hoppers. First, go to the storage room. It's a room with the two entrances just across the hallway. Get some dog crates. You need them to hold your quarry. Getting them inside won't be easy though. As soon as they sense you're coming, they'll scurry off and crawl through the crevices in the cave wall. So you have to try and sneak up on them and mobilise them with a net. You'll find those in the storage room as well. Take as many as you need. You can also try and sneak up on them, but it's not easy. Your hunting ground is the Mushroom Cove. Head south from the crossroad, watch, and turn right at first chance. You'll come across a big cavern with a lake. I'll need three healthy specimens. Good luck. Oh, and by the way, I've also sent a young man called Newton to catch some hoppers. It's been a while, see if you can find them and learn why it's taking them so long. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a long day. I'll get right on it. Cheers, mate. Oh, some pigs in there. Free the pigs! Pigs, you're free! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> get wrecked! Okay, let's <laughs> let's go and try and uh, grab some of these hoppers. Uh, actually, that being said, oh yeah, the the docks are up here anyway. So I was like, that being said, how many lake? Oh, I've got eight lake mushrooms. I should be fine. I'm guessing that they might have something to do with it. Uh, let me out, Malcolm. You big turd burglar. There we go. So yeah, it turns out that you can, uh, like, I didn't need to use as many uh, healing things as I wanted. Like, if I wanted to take my time, anytime I got damaged, I could have just went back into the station and healed up. What is my armor, actually? Oh, it's a rat hound leather overcoat. Okay. I was just wondering. What what was it that says? Camp Pathor to the east, Southgate Station to the north, and the junkyard to the west. What was it he told me? Um Shoot right hand, capture three. Oh, I think it says turn right. Ah! Hot! Who goes there? It's Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new guy. He nods and relaxes a bit. I recognise you now. What are you doing out here? I've been instructed to round up some hoppers from the mushroom cove. Am I headed the right way? Yes, yes you are. It's just beyond this passage. Be careful though. There are side beetles there. You haven't already been warned. I'm to see a young man go in. Newton's the name. 
Yeah, he went through recently, I'd say about two hours ago or so. Says he's going to catch some cave hoppers. Hasn't returned yet, though. You mentioned Psy Beetles? Yeah, Psy Beetles. Nasty creatures. Especially if they're in a group. Because that's when he starts slinging powerful psionics at you. Again, nasty creatures. By the way, if you haven't already, be sure to talk to old Jonas at the crossroad. He knows a lot about creatures lurking in these caves. In any case, stick to the Eastern Bank, you should be safe. Um, uh, maybe old Jonas has got something for me. Oh, nah, fuck it. Fuck him. Fuck it, old, old fart. Ah! Oh, it's, that's one of those cave hopper things. Right, what I need is I need... Throwing nets up there and dog crates. Okay, I can't do anything with the dog crates. Ah! Heck is that? Okay. Oh, it was eating a, a shroomy. In things, man. Oh, I pushed the thingy instead of it. Okay, son of a bitch. Motherfuckers, man. So... The fucker, he evaded it. Right, fucking... Uh, pick up a net. We lost one of them. No, the son of a bitch. He evaded it as well, fuck! You little motherfucker! Cannot end combat this time. Oh, he's still there! No, little fuck! Right. One more turn, and... Oh my god, really? Uh, can we get these onto here? Can they run like madmen? Jesus Christ, really? Pick up your net. Lost a fair few nets there. Uh, sorry, I lost one net when it like when the net kind of followed the thing back into its hole. It's a bit shit. Right, let's wait for them. I still got five nets. Let's just fuck off. There we go. Hey, entangled it. Right now. Hey, 
Hey, got a cave hopper. Sweet. Oh, there's a few of them there. I have more tons to uh, get my net back. Oh, I didn't mean that. Sorry, cave hopper. Ah, it's got a two-ton cooldown. Well, that makes sense. I can't shove it in my uh, quick slot, though. There's a guy across there. Don't know what he's doing. What? Oh, they're, they're fucking, there's loads of them over here. Oh, he can't throw it because he needs to. Oh my god. Right, let's go and pick up this throne net. Chasing these little fuckers around. Next one. Go, oh, hit the one that I've already stabbed. Oh, for fuck's sake, they keep evading them. Oh, pick up the throne net, there you go. Right, I've got one more turn before I can throw it again, so we get into position. Huh. Motherfucker! I wonder if I just stand like right next to the wee fucker and throw the the uh, the net at him. Ah, shit. I need to re-equip them, which will cost me a load of action points. Alright. And I'm probably just going to end up chasing them back into this fucking hole. Ah, uh, hardly uses that much, actually. So I could like go and stand right next to it and throw. Yeah, that or can I just like... No, I don't think so. Hey! Because yeah, I think it needs to be entangled to use it. Hey! Keep up on numero dos! Where's the little fucker? There it is. Oh, I can't even throw a fucking thing at it just yet. Arrgh. Go, go, gadget! Yay! There we go, and capture the cave hopper. Hey, this has got three. Might as well go for all of them, though, I suppose. There we go. Let's come here and... Ah! I think, uh, yeah, my character was just about to... to punch the, uh, or to stab the cave hopper. Probably best if I didn't do that, I thought. Get entangled, fool. There we go. And there'll be one left just kicking about somewhere. 
Ah, oh, there it is. I found it. This guy's not interested in my uh, my battle, my epic struggle with the cave hoppers. Where'd they go? Ha! There we go, and throw. Nice. And captured. Sweet. The entire inventory of Katie Fallbelt. Right, now let's go and chat to this guy, see if that's who it is. And then we'll call it the episode. No, it's moderate, it's not even noon. Middle-aged man, tall and white shoulders, stands by the coast, smoking a cigar and observing the calm water. As you come near, he turns around. His eyes, he eyes you for a moment, maintaining an indifferent expression, and then he speaks to you in a low, raspy voice. Don't stomp around. You're scaring the fish away. Your guy was running Tanner's test, right? Obi-Wan Kenobi, was it? Guess you got admitted. Yeah, and who are you? Indifferent expression still remains. I'll tell you that, but then I'll have to kill you. Just call me Mordery. Huh, in that case, mod mod that will do. Uh, yeah, nothing really, I was just stopping around. But, that's gonna have to do us for this episode, so as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been CG, you've been awesome. And I will see you in whatever series follows on this one. Bye-bye.